so do one thing that you have to observe those video lectures uh, which are on the lms for practical purpose okay you can observe go through them with theory lectures also but uh, for the practical you need to only observe the video and complete the right of work okay there is no reading no performance okay only you have to observe the video lecture and write down that what you observe in that video lectures in detail so now today we are going to discuss the working of your hydroelectric power plant last time the upper hydroelectric power plant uh, sorry uh, thermal power plant say killer the so we are going to just go in detail that uh, what are the various parts of the thermal power plants and how it will works exactly okay so we will discuss about the coal based thermal power plant in coal based thermal power plant the first thing okay so this is the basic block diagram of coal based thermal power plant this is uh, first thing okay uh, basically what happen there are coal mines in somewhere my coal mines are there in the coal mine we are going to digging inside the earth surface and we are going to extract the coal okay basically these coal mines are located at certain uh, remote areas so what you are going to do we need to just transport that coals to the uh, power generating station so uh, many times you have seen that there are trains in which uh, so good strengths are there in the good strengths you can see a lot of coal is going to be transported from one location to another location this coal will transported from coal mine towards the power plant so near by power plant uh, to us is eklehere uh, nasik at nasik we have the coal based thermal power plant okay and that eklehere uh, nasik we have thermal power plant which is based on the coal but if you are going to observe near nasik there is no coal mine so all the coal is going to be transported from the different uh, parts of the country or sometimes you are going to import the coal from australia and other countries also and we are going to use that coal for burning purpose now basically what happened my for the working of my thermal power plant i required a huge quantity of coal okay mazha power plants hoy tela work karna karta mala ena thousands of tons madhe coal lagto per day so what you are going to do we need to just do the storage of the coal so the first unit in any thermal power plant is the coal storage coal storage madhe kay honar hai mag apan jo coal hai na coal mine padna transport karun anlele is there anyone who is from uh, bihar or anyone uh, all of you understand the marathi language or shall i speak in hindi sai raj vinit Am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Mahesh Chorge. Okay. Uh, no problem. So instead of Marathi, meanwhile I am going to use Hindi also. So basically, what happened when you are going to transport the coal from the coal mines? So we need to store that coal. Now, what is the purpose of storing of the coal? If there is certain problem. कभी कभी क्या हो जाता है हम लोग कोल ट्रांसपोर्ट करते हैं तो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में प्रॉब्लम आ सकता है देर में भी सम एक्सीडेंट और देर में भी सम बिकॉज ऑफ एनी रीजन माई ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में गेट डिसकनेक्टेड मेरा ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉपर से हो नहीं पाता है तो अननेसेसरी इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी डिलेट ओके जैसे आप देखते हैं कि बारिश चालू है बारिश की वजह से बहुत बार है ना नदी वगैरह जो आती है उसको बाढ़ आ जाती है तो बाढ़ आने की वजह से क्या होता है कि आपका ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बंद हो जाता है अगर जो ब्रिज है ब्रिज के ऊपर से पानी रहा या फिर कुछ एरिया में आपको ट्रांसपोर्टेशन के प्रॉब्लम आ गए सो इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल टू रीच यूर से शिपमेंट ऑन टाइम टू द डेस्टिनेशन सो फॉर दैट पर्पस आई नीड टू स्टोर सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ कोल जब आप घर पे भी देखते हैं कि घर पे आप अनाज वगैरह स्टोर करके रखते हैं क्यों स्टोर करके रखते हैं क्योंकि इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू द शॉप एंड यू आर गोइंग टू जस्ट टेक दैट मटेरियल सो अगर रात में आपको जरूरत पड़ती है या फिर कभी छुट्टी है दुकान बंद है उस टाइम पे आप जाते हैं तो दुकान बंद होने की वजह से आपको मटेरियल नहीं ला सकते इसलिए थोड़ा सा अपन घर पे स्टोर करके भी रखते हैं सो इसी वजह से हम लोग कोल एट द कोल कोल बेस्ट थर्मल पावर प्लांट पे थोड़ा सा अमाउंट में स्टोर करके रखते हैं नॉर्मली दिस स्टॉक इज नियरली फिफ्टीन डेज पंद्रह दिन के लिए जो स्टॉक लगने वाला है ओके सात से पंद्रह दिन के लिए सेवन टू फिफ्टीन डेज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द कोल विच लास्ट फॉर सेवन टू फिफ्टीन डेज ओके सो इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी इट विल एक्ट एज अ बैकअप फॉर दिस वन देन नेक्स्ट वन इज दैट सो वॉट टाइप ऑफ कोल आई एम गेटिंग सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी इन द कोल माइन देर आर लार्ज ब्लॉक ऑफ कोल्स ओके द साइज ऑफ दिस कोल्स मे बी टेन के जी टू टू हंड्रेड 
to 500 kg okay so these are the blocks uh, basically you are going to see it is just like a black rocks okay so i cannot directly burn this coal so for burning purpose what you are going to do we need to cut this coal into the small pieces okay ye coal ko hame chote chote piece mein convert karna hai cut karna hai okay and for that purpose what you are going to do we are going to crush it and for that purpose there is a coal handling plant in the coal handling plants what there are such type of steel balls okay so there are three such type of steel balls and you are going to put the coal in between so what happen as the steel ball will rotate the coal is going to be grind in between it is just like a flour mill okay jaise aap dekhte hai ki flour mill jo rehti hai usme aap log gehu wagaira le jate hai aur gehu usme dalne ke baad mein uska powder ban ke aata hai okay that is called as the atta so in the same manner if i am going to put the whole coal inside the boiler it will not burn properly okay so for that purpose what you have to do we need to just grind that coal we need to convert that coal into the fine powder so that my burning should be proper one okay so in the coal handling plant we are going to burn that coal okay so aapne coal burn karne ke coal handling plant mein kya karenge hum log coal ko hai na powder mein convert kar denge powder form mein ओके सो यहाँ पे क्या होगा यहाँ पे अपन कोल स्टोर करके लिखते हैं सेवन टू फिफ्टीन डेज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द कोल इन द सेकंड केस व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ कोल हैंडलिंग प्लान इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ द कोल हैंडलिंग प्लान लुक्स लाइक्स इन द लास्ट इलेक्शन वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन दिस लास्ट सेशन दैट द साइज ऑफ थर्मल पावर प्लांट द थर्मल पावर प्लांट मे स्प्रेड इन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एकर्स ओके सो इट the size of the thermal power plant is hundreds of acres and out of this most of the time uh, most of the space is consumed by your storage coal handling plant and ash handling plant only so you can see over here so such type of uh, say trains are coming over here and we are going to just empty those trains wagons over here and then we are going to transport those coal with the help of conveyor system these are the conveyor system oh, these are your conveyor system through which my coal is going to be transported from one location to another location now why we are going to use the conveyor system because if it is going to be do manually it will take a lot of time and it will take a lot of human uh, labors also and uh, it is a 24 by 7 process my generator will work for 24 by 7 okay it you are not going to stop the generator in between why because if the generator is stop it will require the, if the power plant will stop it will require minimum for 24 to 48 hour sometimes 72 hours also for starting purpose okay so we are going to continuously supply the coal to this one okay and for that purpose we are going to use the conveyor system and the quantity of coal required is very very high okay huge quantity coal is required so continuously we are going to just put that coal over here this coal is going to be transported like this one okay so from this location just okay so from this location it is going to be transported here it is going to be crushed and here it is going to be converted into the fine powder and then again it is going to be transported to the boiler section so basically what the coal handling plant will do the coal is transported to the power station by road or rails rails and is stored in the coal storage plant okay from the coal storage plant the coal is delivered to the coal handling plant where it is pulverized remember this word is very important over here sometimes in the interview they are going to ask you what is meant by the pulverization and why you are going to pulverize the coal what is the purpose behind it so basically pulverization means you are going to crush the coals into the small pieces or you are going to crush the coal into the powder form so why why it is required because it will increases the rapid consumption combustion okay so when you are going to break that coal rocks into the small pieces or you are going to convert into the powder like form so it will be easily burn its combustion will be easy it will rapidly burn without using excess air large quantity of the excess air okay jaise aap dekhte hai ghar mein aap jab chula wagaira chalate hai us time pe kya karte hai aap choti choti lakdiyan pehle dalte hai aur wo jalne ke baad mein usme thoda ye kar if you are going to just put a large wooden uh, blocks over there they cannot be directly burn okay so what you are going to do we are going to just first take the small wooden uh, say blocks and then we are going to burn it okay so in the same manner what i am going to do if i want to burn the coal 
initially i need to convert that coal into the small powder form okay small pieces so that it can be easily burned my combustion should be proper and it does not require the any excess air the pulverized coal it fed to the boiler by belt conveyor so now how you are going to just put that can, uh, coal into the boiler so this coal this pulverized coal is fed to the boiler by means of belt conveyor here you can see over here okay so these are the belt conveyor okay so after pulverization this coal small pieces of the coal is going to be sent to the boiler okay so the pulverized coal is fed to the boiler by belt conveyor the coal is burned into the boiler and ash produced after complete combustion of the coal is removed to the ash handling plant okay so basically here first two step this is my first this one is my second so in first i am going to store the coal so that i can get the continuous supply of the coal for running my thermal power plant okay in second i am going to convert that coal into the small pieces okay so here the pulverization is going to be takes place then after pulverizing we are going to send that coal to the boiler here actual the combustion inside the boiler actual combustion of the coal is going to be takes place ओके बॉयलर मे का होना है तुम्हारा कोर्स ये जड़ना है आपका जो कोयला है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी बर्न इन साइड द बॉयलर ओके बट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू बर्न एनी थिंग वॉट इज द थ्री थिंग्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर बर्निंग पर्पज और वॉट आर द मिनिम थिंग्स दैट कैन बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बर्निंग पर्पज अगर मुझे किसी चीज को जलाना है तो उसके लिए क्या क्या लगने वाला है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू बर्न समथिंग वॉट आर द मिनिम थिंग्स दैट आई वॉन्ट फर्स्ट इज द फ्यूल एंड हियर फ्यूल इज माई कोल okay so if i want to burn something i required the fuel okay aur yahan pe fuel kya ho gayi hamari coal koila jo hai wo fuel ho gayi lekin uske liye ek sabse zaruri cheez hai without that the burning is not possible so what is the name of that thing abhishek abhijit akshay harshada nilesh nisha meeta purnima prasad sairaj vinit yash what is required for the burning purpose what is required for the burning purpose o2 oxygen is required okay without oxygen the burning is does not takes place so inside and where is the oxygen okay we don't have the separate oxygen cylinder just like we are going to use for the covid patient अपने पास वो बॉयलर के लिए सेपरेट ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर वगैरह नहीं एंड दैट इज नॉट इकोनॉमिकल फॉर मी आल्सो सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज वी नो दैट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन द एयर सो व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू पुट सम एयर ओवर हियर ओके सो दिस एयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विच इज इसेंशियल फॉर द बर्निंग पर्पज ओके सो अलॉन्ग विथ कोल सो इन द बॉयलर वॉट इज देयर इन द बॉयलर देयर इज कोल प्लस ऑक्सीजन ओके और यू कैन से एयर एयर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर बर्निंग ऑफ द कोल विदाउट एयर माई बर्निंग एक्शन डज नॉट टेक्स प्लेस सो वेन कोल इज देयर ऑक्सीजन इज देयर एंड इग्निशियन इज देयर ओके सो इग्निशियन टेक्स प्लेस जस्ट बाय पुटिंग सर्टन से वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट यूज सर्टन फ्लेम और समथिंग ओके सो इग्निशियन वी कैन एज्यूम दैट ऑलरेडी इग्निशियन वॉज टेक्स प्लेस सो दिस विल रिजल्ट इन टू द हीट ओके सो वेन कोल एंड ऑक्सीजन इज एयर इट विल बर्न ओके सो वेन वे इट विल बर्न इट विल प्रोड्यूस द हीट नाउ वॉट टू डू विथ दैट हीट वाई आई रिक्वायर द हीट ओवर हियर बिकॉज आई रिक्वायर द हीट टू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द वॉटर आई वॉन्ट टू जनरेट द स्टीम इन साइड द बॉयलर द फंक्शन ऑफ बॉयलर इज टू जनरेट द स्टीम वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ बॉयलर द फंक्शन ऑफ बॉयलर इज टू जनरेट स्टीम ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू जनरेट द स्टीम एंड हाउ द स्टीम इज जनरेटेड now what the steam generated say i have the water over here all of you have done that experiment in the simple say i think most of you have uh, prepare the tea in your home okay or at least you have observed that how to prepare the tea so basically what you are going to do we are going to take some uh, say water we are going to add some milk we are going to add some say sugar and tea powder and then you are going to give the heat okay so is there anyone uh who has seen that uh, we are does not produce say simply we are going to add the water cold water okay milk okay that milk is also cold one then sugar and tea we are going to mix it and directly uh, say drink it okay so such type tea is not going to be prepared 
for the preparation of that what is required we need to increase the temperature of that water so that the tea powder is going to be dissolved properly okay the extract of the tea powder is going to be mixed with the say your water okay so basically i want to provide the heat so when it heat is there at that time the water start boiling okay and when the water is boiling you are seen that we can see the vapors okay if you are going to properly observe when the water is going to boil at that time you can see the vapors are coming out of the pot okay in the same manner when i will increase the temperature of any uh, say liquid that liquid is going to be converted into the vapor now here also in boiler what you are going to do we are going to increase the temperature of the water so that water is going to be converted into the vapor so in coming to this uh, boiler is water okay and what is the output of the boiler is vapor okay now there is a difference between vapor and steam so vapor has uh, say moisture large moisture content okay vapor has large moisture content and i don't require the moisture inside the steam uh, inside that one so when i want to remove the moisture from the vapor that becomes steam okay so when i will remove the moisture from that vapor that becomes steam over here and that actually this process is going on uh, going to be takes place inside the boiler only so as there is a excessive temperature the temperature of the boiler is nearly 300 degrees centigrade okay 150 degrees centigrade to 300 degrees centigrade that is the temperature you can get uh, inside the boiler so with that temperature we can easily convert water into the vapors and that vapors are again going to be converted into the steams okay so we are going to remove the moisture but i need say more uh, say temperature of the steam so basically what you are going to do we are going to again heat that vapors heat that steam and that steam becomes superheated steam superheated steam so now how to heat that one so basically when this coal and oxygen will uh, say when my coal is going to be burned at that time after burning of the coal you are seeing certain some some, uh, some sort of smoke is going to be released into the atmosphere okay so in your home also when you are going to burn the wood or you are going to burn something so we can observe that the smoke is going to be released what is that smoke smoke is nothing but different mixture of gases okay these gases are called as the few gases these gases may contain carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide sulfur and all these thing so these gases have a high temperature and these few gases are going to be released into the atmosphere but if i am going to directly release these few gases into the atmosphere these gases have a high temperature so thermal efficiency of the boiler or the thermal efficiency of my power plant will go on decreasing so instead of releasing these few gases directly through the chimney into the atmosphere i can extract the heat of these few gases in three stages one is called as the superheater in superheater what you are going to do we are going to increase the temperature of this steam and we are going to convert that steam into the superheater steam so basically the temperature before the superheater is nearly 150 to 300 degree centigrade and after superheater the temperature of the superheater steam may reaches up to 500 degree centigrade okay so here and how it will reaches to that because of this few gases okay so the heat of that few gases is going to be extracted into the superheater okay and my if uh, say temperature of that steam is going to be increase up to 500 degree centigrade then again these gases have certain temperature so we are going to again just pass through these gases through the economizer now what is this economizer economizer is a device which can be used to increase the temperature of the uh, water which is fed to the boiler so initially the temperature of water is nearly 30, 30 degree centigrade okay and if i am going to put that 30 degree centigrade temperature water into the boiler i require more amount of energy to increase the temperature of that water so what i will do i will just pass that water through the economizer and with the help of these few gases the temperature up to 40 degree centigrade can be achieved okay because we know that heat can be transferred by conduction convection and radiation okay so these few gases it can be absorbed by the water which is flowing through the economizer ye jo economizer is ke andar se jo pani behne wala hai wo kya karne wala hai uska temperature kam hai aur uske baju mein se jo gases ja rahe hain unka temperature zyada hai so that will extract extract the heat of this uh, outside few gases okay and then that is going to be fed to the boiler so here also my thermal efficiency is gone increasing and next again i am going to just pass this gases few gases through the air preheater so air preheater is a third stage device so basically for the burning purpose i required what i required oxygen 
okay and that oxygen is supplied by the air surrounding air so but how that air is going to be fed to the boiler because boiler is a, a closed thing so what i am going to do i am going to use a large drop fan over here okay so this fan will take the air from the surrounding okay so they will just collect the air from the surrounding okay and then they, they will just force the air into the boiler now the surrounding air temperature is your atmospheric temperature so my atmospheric temperature may be 20 degrees centigrade maybe 30 degrees centigrade maybe 35 degrees centigrade or maybe 40 degrees centigrade depending on the climate okay depending on my season if you are going to go through say your monsoon at that during monsoon the temperature may be as low as 20 degrees centigrade and during summer the temperature may be as high as 40 to 45 degrees centigrade also so the air temperature also gone increase and during monsoon what happen my air has a lot of moisture okay and if i am going to put the moisturized air into the boiler the proper combustion does not take place so what i have to do i have to remove the moisture from the air and for that purpose i have to pass the air through the few gases okay so this air free heater when my air is going to going through this air free heater this air free heater is surrounded by these few gases okay so these gases will extract the heat okay the sorry the heat of these gases can be extracted by the air and the temperature of the air is gone increasing and here the temperature of the air may be 30 to 40 degrees centigrade depending on uh, your condition seasonal variations and all these things so it may be 30 to 40 degrees centigrade and that air is going to be supplied to the boiler okay so what happened now my air is a pure air it does not contain moisture second thing is that my water is at higher temperature as compared to the atmospheric temperature so definitely because of these two my thermal efficiency go on increasing the thermal efficiency of the boiler go on increasing and with this super heater the thermal efficiency of the overall thermal power plant go on increasing okay now after super heater what you are going to do so this few gases are going to be released first these few gases pass through super heater then economizer then air freighter and then they are going to be released into the atmosphere through chimney i think all of you have seen the chimney in front of our college there is a sugar factory and in that sugar factory you can see two large chimneys are there tall chimneys are there through which the gases are going to be released at the higher level into the atmosphere okay so basically why we are going to reduce this release these gases into the atmosphere because these gases may consist of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide okay and if they are going to be released at the bottom level the resident who are living in the nearby area may uh, just uh, suffer from certain respiratory diseases so we are that we are going to release that at certain height into the atmosphere okay so is it clear up to this uh, is there any difficulty up to this point is there any difficulty जनरेटेड what is the next thing that we are going to hope, uh, just uh, take space over here so once the steam is generated now here uh, i will get the temp steam at the temperature of 500 degree centigrade nearly up to 500 degree centigrade now there is a wall okay this steam is going to be given to the turbine okay so this is my turbine which this turbine uh, so basically what happened a turbine uh, I, I will just show you one turbine how it would looks like so this is basically a boiler uh, so first part we already discussed this is the coal handling plant then second is the steam generating plant so steam generating plants we required the boiler the steam generating plant consists of a boiler for the production of steam other auxiliary equipment for the utilization of few gases what are these other auxiliary equipment will any uh, anybody please uh, tell me the names of these other auxiliary equipment that just we have discussed okay what are the names of the uh, yes air heater air heater yes second super heater super heater economic okay so air these breather. are the auxiliary equipments uh, which can be used to increase the thermal efficiency of my overall thermal power plant okay out of this air heater and the economizer will increase the thermal efficiency of the boiler and the super heater will increase the overall thermal efficiency of my generating plant over here now this boiler what is the boiler so in boiler is 
the heat of combustion of coal in the boiler is utilized to convert the water into steam at high temperature and pressure so basically inside the boiler what is going to be takes place so inside the boiler we are going to burn the coal the combustion of coal will takes place inside the boiler and the heat of that combustion can be used to convert water into steam okay so my water is there so water is going to be converted into steam so where it is going to be converted it is going to be converted into the boiler okay so and uh, i will get temperature as well as pressure at high temperature as well as pressure the few gases from the boiler makes their journey journey through superheater economizer and air preheater and are finally exhausted to the atmosphere through chimney okay now what is the role of superheater over here the superheater the steam produced in the boiler is wet okay so basically what happened whatever the steam that is going to be produced in the boiler it consists of moisture and that's why it is called as the wet steam and is passed through the superheater where it is dried and superheated so basically what is the role of superheater superheater will remove the moisture from the steam okay and here it is going to be dried and superheated dried means what we have removed the moisture all of you have just eaten the dry fruits okay so what is dry fruit dry fruit when you are going to remove the moisture from that one the fruit becomes the dry fruits okay so in the similar way uh, when you am remove the uh, heat from that uh, say steam that is a superheated steam or it is a dry steam the steam temperature increases above that of the boiling point of water by few gases on their way to chimney superheating avoids too much condensation in the last stage of the turbine okay so why superheating uh, superheating is required because when i am going to do the superheating it will remove the condensation it will avoid the condensation condensation means what when that steam is going to be cooled down it will convert it into the water droplets okay so uh, if i my steam is not going to be superheated basically what happen when it will makes an impact with the turbine blades it will convert it into the moisture okay it has the moisture and it will convert into the water droplets and that will cause the corrosion to the blades of my turbine and when the life of my turbine blades will reduces so for that purpose i have to increase the temperature of the steam so that it does not easily get condensated which will cause the blade corrosion okay if it is going to be easily condensed what will it what it will do it will cause the blade corrosion the superheated steam from the superheated is fed to the steam turbine through the main wall okay just we have discussed this steam which is coming from the boiler okay boiler next to the superheater and superheater to the steam uh, turbine steam turbine ko jo steam jaane wali hai usko kaise control karte hain we are going to control with the help of the main wall then second one is the economizer so economizer is essential a feed water heater and derives heat from the few gases for this purpose the feed water is fed to the economizer before supplying to the boiler so basically jo pani lagne wala hai okay so that feed water which is required in the boiler for converting that water into the steam or what converting that water into the superheated steam that can we can take it from the nearby river or nearby pond so basically if you are going to observe that most of the thermal power plants are situated near the rivers now why because this thermal power plant require a large quantity of the water for their operation purpose and uh, say this water can be supplied with the help of river okay or large lakes or large ponds over there and derives heat of the few gases for this purpose the feed water is fed to the economizer before supplying to the water we cannot directly give supply the feed water to the boiler before going to the boiler it will pass through the economizer so that the temperature of the water go on increasing the economizer extract the part of the heat of the few gases and increase the temperature of the feed water system then third kya hai the air preheater the air preheater increases the temperature of the air supplied to the supplied for the coal burning so basically if i want to burn the coal i require oxygen okay and if or i required air and if my air consists of the moisture then the burning is not proper so for that purpose what you are going to do we require to remove the moisture from the air and that can be done inside the air filter air is drawn from the atmosphere by the force draft fan and is passed through air filter before supplying to the boiler furnace okay then next uh, so steam turbine so basically if you are going to see how the turbine looks like this is the turbine okay uh, so turbine um, has such type of blades okay so if you are going to observe these are the blades of the turbine this is the three stage turbine 
actually so basically we are going to see uh, that the size of the blades are going on reducing only we are going to concentrate that turbines of the uh, turbines are such type of blades and through this that steam is going to be just released okay whatever the steam i am going to uh, say get from the superheater this will pass through such type of pipe this pipe will carry the steam okay and this steam is going to be released over here and as the steam is going to be released over here these blades of the turbine may get an impact tangential force will applied at the blades of the turbine because of the steams okay i think all of you are familiar with uh, this one uh, in the in your childhood okay jab aap chote bachche the at that time aapne jab tyohar wagaira rehta tha mela rakhta tha to us time pe kya karte the hum log so we are getting such type of uh, things over here uh, say पेपर का एक एक ऐसी लकड़ी रहती थी उस लकड़ी को एक सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर एंड व्हेन द एयर मेक एन इम्पैक्ट विद दैट इट विल स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग इट विल स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग सो व्हेन द एयर विल मेक एन इम्पैक्ट विद दिस वन अ टेंजेंशियल इम्पैक्ट इट कॉजेस द फोर्स टू एक्ट ओवर इयर्स एंड दैट फोर्स कॉजेस द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस वन ओके इन द सेम मैनर दिस पर विल वर्क ओवर इयर सो दिस टीम इज गोइंग टू बी रिलीज ओवर देयर एंड द ब्लेड्स आर अरेंज इन सच ए फैशन दैट दे विल मेक एन इम्पैक्ट विद दिस वन अ फोर्स इज एक्सटेड ओवर देयर एंड दैट कॉजेज द ब्लेड टू टर्न डाउन एंड दैट कंटिन्यूअस टर्निंग ऑफ द ब्लेड कॉजेज द रोटेशन ओवर इयर सो द स्टीम टर्निंग द ड्राई एंड सुपरिटर स्टीम फ्रॉम द सुपरिटर इज फेड टू द स्टीम टर्बाइन थ्रू द मेन वॉल्स ओके सो दिस इज द पाइप थ्रू विच आई एम गोइंग टू एंड दिस स्टीम कैन बी कंट्रोल विद द हेल्प ऑफ वॉल जस्ट लाइक इन यूर बाथरूम वी हैव द टैप एंड विद दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टैप वी कैन कंट्रोल द फ्लो ऑफ वाटर विच इज गोइंग टू पास थ्रू द टैप ओके द हीट एनर्जी ऑफ द स्टीम वेन पासिंग ओवर द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द टर्बाइन इज कन्वर्ट इन टू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी सो वेन द हीट एनर्जी सो वॉट द स्टीम स्टीम हैज हीट एनर्जी ओके विद दिस स्टीम what it causes it causes the rotation of the blades and rotation is my mechanical energy so the steam energy the heat energy of the steam passing over the blades is converted into mechanical energy so inside the steam turbine what is going to be takes place energy conversion takes place okay so energy conversion from heat energy to the mechanical energy is going to be takes place inside the turbine after giving heat energy to the turbine the steam is exhausted to the condenser which condenses and ex- which condenses the exhausted steam by means of cold water circulation jab iska kaam ho jata hai is steam yahan pe abhi make an impact and then it is going to be released okay so we are not going to release that steam into the atmosphere we are going to collect it and we are going to just process uh, further send it to the condenser where it is going to be condensated okay and after condensation again we are going to feed it to the Uh, feed water system then there is alternator this is basically an alternator okay so ye jo dikhta hai ye aapka pura system hai thermal power plant ka okay so yahan pe jo hai uh, you can see these are the steam turbines and to which uh, this one this is basically alternator if you are going to see this red red color thing so this is basically an alternator which will convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy this alternator will converts so energy conversion takes place inside the alternator into is that mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy the steam turbine is coupled to the alternator okay so what the alternator will do nilesh rushikesh meeta mahesh sairaj what the alternator will do electrical energy convert into electrical energy electrical energy so alternator will convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy the steam turbine is coupled to the alternator you can see over here this is my steam turbine and this is coupled to the alternator so how the coupling will take place so they be, these are basically mechanically coupled the shaft okay shaft of the steam turbine is connected to the shaft of my alternator okay so there is a mechanical coupling between these two the alternator converts mechanical energy of turbine into electrical energy the electrical energy the electrical output of alternator is delivered to the bus bar through transformer circuit breaker and isolator so once that electrical energy is generated this electrical energy is con- collected and this is given to the bus bar so basically what is bus bar so bus bar is nothing but the copper plates okay so to which i am giving this r phase y phase and b phase and from that bus bar has single input and multiple output okay so it may be a single input and multiple output through which i am going to connect this three and then it is given to the transformer step up tra- basically at the thermal power plant or at any power plants we can see which transformer at the power plant there is a step up transformer okay power plant la kudla transformer asnar hai har power plant mein step up transformer rehta hai which will increases the voltage level 
okay now why the voltage level is increases that we are going to discuss so basically if i am going to just uh, generate the electricity there are certain uh, say uh, co constant because of this i cannot generate the electricity at very uh, highest uh, various high, sorry very high level okay a uh, very high voltage so basically the electrical energy generated at the uh, power plant may be 1.1 kv to 11 kv okay or at uh, normally we are going to generate the energy at 11 kv and if you are going to transport uh, and the size of that power plant may be 100 megawatt or like this one so if i am going to transfer the energy which is generated at 11 kv to the grid then what is going to be takes place there are so much i square r losses okay and if you are going to generate at 100 megawatt so it is 100 into 10 to the power 6 mega means 10 to the power 6 divided by 11000 okay so what is the amount of my current over here if you are going to assume the amount of current over here this current is nearly in the range of thousands of ampere so it is okay uh, 1 lakh divided by 11 and when you are going to just convert that into this one so you are getting the current in the range of say nearly in the range of 9000 ampere of current you are going to just get it and with this i square r losses are very tremendously high so what you are going to do we are going to just reduce this one by increasing the voltage instead of transferring the power at 11 kv we are going to transfer the power at 400 kv okay or we are going to transfer the power at 220 kv or such time so basically what happened when i am going to transfer the power with this high voltage uh, what is the effect of this one that we are going to just see okay so instead of this one if i am going to increase the voltage 400 kv means 10 to the power 3 and this is 100 into 10 to the power 6 okay so this is going to be like this one so it is 1 lakh divided by 400 okay so these two this is uh, 1000 divided by 4 so it is 2 uh, 5 0 so it is 250 ampere so my current will drastically reduce as from 9000 ampere to 250 ampere okay so that's why your losses are also going to be reduces i square r losses which are going to be takes place inside the systems that are also going to be reduces that's why we are going to use the say transformer and these transformers are called as step up transformer then circuit breaker these circuit breakers are used to disconnect the supply in case of certain emergency purpose okay so these circuit breakers are nothing but just like a switches just like in your home you are going to use the switches button apla ghara madhe jase apan switches use karto apne ghar mein jase hum log switch use karte hai fan ko control karne ke liye light ko control karne ke liye waise hi agar heavy electrical appliances rehte hai to us heavy electrical appliances ko control karne ke liye we cannot use the simple push button we have to use the circuit breakers okay and then we are going to use the isolator to completely disconnect that circuit from the system so that is as the isolators then turbo generators are these generators driven by the steam turbines these generators are run at a very high speed of 1500 rpm or above so normally the generator will rotate at 1500 to 3000 rpm then feed water system so basically hame jo power plant ke liye boiler ke liye jo pani lagne wala hai wo pani jo supply karte hai that system is called as the feed water system the condensed water from the condenser is used as a feed water to the boiler okay so the condensed water from the condenser jo steam bahar nikli thi turbine se us steam ko humne kya kiya condense kiya condense karne ke baad mein wo steam ka kya ban gaya hai pani bana hai so usko fir se boiler mein dene ke liye hum feed water system use karte hai and to make or okay we are taking the some extra water which is lost in the cycle made up of the external sources that is from rivers from river or anything okay from, okay uh, so from river we are going to get the additional water which is required to for the makeup okay makeup means what it does not uh, makeup means what whatever the quantity of the water which is required for this paper all the quantity of the water cannot get from the uh, say condensed um, condensed stream okay condensed water so extra additional water is required and which can be taken from the river uh, basically what happened this is very important the feed water is a demineralized water okay it is a demineralized water and the cost for this demineralization is maybe up to 8 rupees per liter okay so whatever the water which you are going to give inside the thermal power plant boiler that is a demineralized water we are going to remove all the minerals from the water so that 
this is a pure chemistry water this is simply h2o okay and because of this what happened the chances of corrosion and all these things are going to be reduces and for this purpose the processing cost is as 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 a up to 6 ru 8 rupees per liter okay so this cost may vary from uh, location to location depending on the uh, say what is the say soil uh, soil and all these things and uh, what type of water is available at the your location so it is uh, roughly between 6 to 8 rupees per liter the pro uh, processing cost of the water the feed water on its way to the boiler is heated by water heaters and economizer okay then cooling arrangement i think all of you have seen such type of cooling tower have you seen such type of cooling tower yes sir you are where you have seen such type of tower chimney is different thing okay. near to factory chimney is different thing say here this is my chimney okay so this is my chimney and these three are called as cooling tower okay chimney is different thing through the chimney if you are going to observe that the height of chimney is much more than the height of your कूलिंग टावर ओके चिमनी की हाइट है ना कूलिंग टावर पेक्षा खूब जास्त है ओके द कूलिंग टावर इज डिफरेंट थिंग ओके सो सच टाइप ऑफ कूलिंग टावर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व एट द थर्मल पावर प्लांट न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द वीडियोज यू कैन सी दैट और इफ यू आर गोइंग टू जस्ट गो थ्रू द नासिक नियर एक लहरे यू कैन सी सच टाइप ऑफ कूलिंग टावर ओके देन दिस कूलिंग अरेजमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव द इफिशियंसी ऑफ द प्लांट द स्टीम एक्जॉस्टेड from the turbine is condensed by means of condenser okay so why why we are going to use this one so to improve the efficiency of the plant the steam exhausted from the turbine is condensed by means of condenser water is drawn from the natural source of supply such as river canal lake and is circulated through the condenser the circulating water takes up the heat of exhausted steam and it itself become hot this hot water coming out of condenser is discharged into the river cooling tower in case of in case the unavailability of water from the source throughout the year cooling towers are used basically in maharashtra what you are going to face we are going to face the lot of water shortage okay so we have already scarcity of the waters and because of that we need to reuse the water okay so reuse of the water is possible with the help of cooling tower during the scarcity of the water in the river hot water from the condenser is passed through the cooling tower where it is cooled the cold water from the cooling tower is reused in the condenser okay then next one is the last one is your ash handling plant so after burning of the coal when the coal is burned in the boiler the ash produced after complete combustion of the coal and is removed to the ash handling plant and then delivered to the ash storage plant for the disposal okay jaise hota kya hai जैसे हम लोग कोल बर्न करते हैं तो कोल बर्न करने के बाद में क्या होने वाला है सो दैट कोल इज गोइंग टू बी कन्वर्ट इन टू द एश अगर आप घर पे भी देखते हैं जब आप चूल्हा वगैरह चलाते हैं उस टाइम पे लकड़ी बर्न होने के बाद में क्या हो जाता है कि उस पर ऐश आ जाती है इफ़ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू रिमूव दैट ऐश ओके सो वॉट हैपन द कम्प्लीट कम्बर्शन और द अदर से वुड डज नॉट बर्न प्रॉपरली सो वी नीड टू रिमूव दैट ऐश टाइम टू टाइम ओके एंड वंस यू आर गोइंग टू रिमूव दैट ऐश we need to just throw it away somewhere so basically what happened inside my coal power plant as i am going to burn the thousands of tons of coal per day the quantity of the ash which is generated is also hundreds of quintals per day or hundreds of tons per day so i need to continuously remove that ash and then i have to just dispose it so that removal of ash from the boiler furnace is necessary for the proper burning of coal okay so if i am not going to remove the ash from the my boil, burn, uh, boiler my combustion does not takes place okay kyun kya hone wala hai is case mein jaise aap ye boiler hai usme aap koila uh, dal rahe ho burn ho raha hai ho raha hai ho raha hai koila burn hone ke baad mein usme ash produce hone wali hai okay just jo ash produce ho jati hai to kya hoga that will cover the coal okay jaise ash produce ho jayegi na wo kya karegi us cover coal ko kya kar le ki cover kar legi उसके बाद में आप अगर कोयला भी डालते हैं तो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी डू इट डज नॉट बर्न प्रॉपरली बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड बाय द एश सो आई नीड टू रिमूव दिस एश सो एट द बॉटम ऑफ द बॉयलर देर इज सच टाइप ऑफ प्लेट्स ओके एट द बॉटम ऑफ द बॉयलर देर इज 
such type of thing okay mesh is there okay so after a particular time you are going to open this one and all the ash is going to be fall into the container and this is going to be carried with the help of conveyor belt so a 100 megawatt station operating 50 percent load factor burn 20,000 tons of coal per month एक हंड्रेड मेगावेट का जो पावर प्लांट है उसके लिए हमें बीस हजार टन कोल हर महीने लगता है ओके रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टन ऑफ कोल पर मंथ ओके एंड द एच प्रोड्यूस मे बी इन टर्न ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द कोल फायर्ड ओके सो हर महीने लगभग दो हजार से तीन हजार टन एश प्रोड्यूस होती है वहाँ पे सो वी नीड टू डू द प्रॉपर डिस्पोजल नाउ वट इज दिस एश कैन बी यूज फॉर मेकिंग ब्रिक्स एंड नंबर ऑफ अदर पर्पजेस ऑल्सो okay so this is the uh, say belt convey uh, bottom ash beam okay dewater ash then say we are going to this boiler furnace boiler furnace mein se kya hai wo niche ash collect karne wale hai this ash is going to be carried with the help of what conveyor system through this uh, say shaker crashers then we are going to belt conveyor then you are going to pour, collect it into this one and then you are going to just release it okay so through this ash we are going to just pass the water also so that this ash is going to be uh, the temperature of that ash going to be releases over here so is it clear Now is it audible? Yes, sir. 